Hello again. Now, if you uh, think encrypting online data could save it from the prying eyes of the NSA or Britain's GCHQ, Edward Snowden's latest leak will disappoint you, to say the least. Uh, it shows America can spend billions of dollars in the, has spent billions of dollars in the past decade on breaking protective codes, opening up what you thought was private. The European Commissioner for Justice, Fundamental Rights and Citizenship has spoken out on the NSA's global snooping, as Peter Oliver reports. The EU Justice Commissioner has spoken about the leaks from Edward Snowden as a wake-up call to Europe and says that new legislation must be put in place to protect the privacy of EU citizens. As it stands at the moment, each of the 28 member states interprets the current framework in a different manner, some of which contradict each other. She wants to see a one continent, one law system put in place. But when it comes to debating what will be in that law, she suggested that the United Kingdom might not be a part of that, saying that London's loyalties appear to lie elsewhere. I don't pay attention to Britain anymore. They're a lost cause. They're acting only together with the Americans and they absolutely don't want to have European laws. But in this case, all we need for this vote is a simple majority. And if they don't want to work together constructively, we don't need them. But I need France and I need Germany if I want to do something concrete in Europe. She also warned the UK about sitting on the sidelines when it comes to deciding what will be in this legislation, saying that whether they like it or not, the United Kingdom is part of the European Union and this law would affect them. Once this proposal turns into a law, everybody must follow it. And that includes Great Britain, whether they want to or not, once the majority decides. The minority becomes irrelevant. From a political point of view, it is not an intelligent position to sit in the corner and complain. It would be more intelligent to work with us and make their opinion count. Once the text is approved, this becomes a law for all 28 states and more than 500 million people. The EU Commission's remit doesn't allow it to deal with security services. However, what Vivian Redding is proposing is a law that would tackle companies which freely provide private information on EU citizens to those security services. She's put forward legislation that would see a fine of around 2% of profit imposed upon those companies that give information of EU citizens over to security services. When you're a toothless tiger, all you can do is to roar but not bite. At this point we are toothless and I want to give us some bite so we can efficiently enforce our European laws. And one final point, this law that's being put forward would affect any company doing business within the European Union. It doesn't matter if you're based in America, you're based in Japan or you're based in India. If you do business in Europe, you would have to stick to this new legislation on privacy. And it's the sheer scale of the data harvesting that seems to alarm people, according to the director of the Centre for Investigative Journalism at London City University. It's been going on a long time. People forget that in the 70s, uh, a spy system called Echelon was uncovered over Britain, run by the United States. What, di what was different about that spying system and the present one is the sheer extent of it. The major security companies that, uh, and, and uh, social networking companies have opened their effective back doors to the NSA. Even commercial confidentiality as an area of uh, secrecy has been violated completely by this hoovering up of everything. And so I think people are alarmed because they realize it will affect them personally. It's not just political opponents, but the possibility of blackmail is enormous. Some dissident to federal uh, employee could easily sift this material, find something terribly damaging, and then use it for personal gain or political gain.